the fuck are we doing? Are we good? Good? Okay, good. <laughs> Good morning guys. Happy Sunday. It's Sunday, July 28th right now. It's 8.28. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why did my Google Calendar not update? We're gonna do a nice little Sunday reset because we are booked and busy today. I've been so social butterfly-y lately and it's so much fun, but like holy shit. But first and foremost, I already started off. I put my comforter in the wash when I woke up. I think I woke up around like 7. Seven-ish, but we're gonna start with rosemary oil in the hair because I need to be better at doing this on Sundays. Ugh, I curled my hair yesterday. Guys, I went to high tea yesterday. Not like high tea. Not not like uh, a traditional high tea, but I went to a tea went with all of Mr. Special Someone's, the girls in his family. Not all of them, but the ones who could make it. We all went and it was so fun and then afterwards we had a little like movie and game night at his aunt's house and I brought a lot of PR over. Like I set up this cute little store on the dining room table because I get so much PR that I like don't know what to do with and I part of me wants to do a giveaway but the other part of me I just feel like it's not like a good enough amount for a giveaway. Like I feel like whenever I see people do giveaways it's like multiples and multiples and like honestly like I do get a lot of PR, but compared to a lot of other influencers I know, like, I really don't get that much in comparison to them, so I feel like I wouldn't be able to give you guys enough, I guess? I don't know. But I really like sharing it with his family because there are a lot of girls in his family. I just know that they really, really appreciate it. So yeah, that's what we did yesterday. I really didn't vlog just because I don't like vlogging around family, really. Today... We are going to Sunday reset, we're gonna clean, we're gonna grocery shop. I don't think I'm gonna meal prep just cause I don't, I haven't been on my meal prepping vibe lately. And I think it's just cause like, it is what it is, I don't know. I've been cooking when I want to cook. And I'll do a chia pudding though, I've been into chia pudding cause I've been trying intermittent fasting. So I, my window of eating, I start at 12 in the afternoon. That's when I have like breakfast, which is usually lunch. Um, and I'll either do chia pudding or I'll do like my breakfast sandwich that I normally do if I'm home. But if I'm going to be out, then chia pudding is just so much easier. Yeah, 12 to 8. So I start eating at 12 and I stop eating at 8. And I've really been enjoying it. Like, because I, I was so consistently like, I would work out in the morning and then I would eat breakfast. And I really liked that, obviously. Like, it's nice to eat right after you work out. But I honestly like feel better in my body. Like I feel like my body's just functioning better now. And I don't know how long I'll keep it up. And like on the weekends, I really don't care. Like I kind of like will break it during the weekends. And I think that's helps to keep it in a healthy balance as opposed to being like, oh no, sorry. Like I can't go out tonight because you know, I can't eat after eight. Like I'm not gonna fucking miss out on opportunities just because I'm, you know. And that's another thing about discipline is Discipline is so important and doing what you tell yourself you're gonna do is so important, but also I think There's like literally a study or something that's the type of mind That's the absolute strongest is a flexible mind and I feel like when people think of discipline sometimes they think of Well, I told myself I was gonna work out every single day at five o'clock in the morning And if one day they don't wake up at five o'clock in the morning, they say well I, I didn't do it so I'm not gonna work out. It's like no, it's like you can't prevent human error and just like little things happening like you can't prevent all those variables that you have no idea if they're going to happen but you can still show up for yourself when those variables do happen and i think that's like a really important part and way to balance discipline and living life in balance i guess sometimes people can take discipline and let it kind of consume them and turn them into a different type of person and i don't know just some little food for thought for the morning. But, oh, I tried to give myself like DIY lash extensions yesterday and I ripped them all out, so. So the first thing on the cleaning agenda is to clean and organize my vanity and my drawers. So we're gonna do that first. Agenda for today, after we Sunday reset, I think Mr. Special and I are gonna try to have like a little coffee date. Probably not, I'm probably not gonna go anywhere to do it. I'm probably just gonna like make a cup of coffee and be here, but 
And then my friend, it's her birthday in four days and she really wants to go see Twisters, which I've already seen. I got a freaking membership to the AMC theaters because my friend Brooke and I, we have been like going to the movies. Like if I told you like what what is the most consistent activity you've been doing this month, going to the movies. And I love rewatching movies. Like, I'm not like, oh, I've already seen it. I don't want to see it again. Like, no, I've already seen it. I'll go see it with whoever else wants to see it. It's currently 8.58, and I want to get this all done before 9.30. As you can see, I need to dust and clean the mirrors. But I was just wiping down the vanity, and I just, I'm going to show you guys the before so you guys can see the after. So we have messiness. This is fine. Messy, 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 messy. Uh, I need to organize messy messy it's super messy over there all right so there's your before okay and this is the after we're clean we're clean we're clean we're clean i still just need to like rearrange that and clean i wiped off all that clean the mirrors picked up all that wiped that off i just need to figure out where to put this because i use this to do my nails honestly i'll probably put it in a smaller bottle and then bring this downstairs but I just put my comforter in the dryer and I swept the stairs and like downstairs too. So I'm kind of all over the place and I need to figure out what we're doing next. Outfit check, outfit check. I just took a shower. Also, I did, um, I think I was saying this earlier, but I tried to do the DIY lash extensions yesterday night. Yeah, and then I ripped them all off. But this is what I wanted them to look like. So I gave myself a lash lift and tint the other day. And if you get up close and personal, you could see that I only have one lash line. But when you're far away, it's just like wispy. Also, I put my hair in a slick back with the rosemary oil, of course. Leggings, sports bra, because this is probably what I'll just be wearing all day. Because first plan is right now, which is a phone call with Mr. Special. We're going on a little coffee date, but my coffee date will take place right here. I have my coffee. And my mom made apple cinnamon uh, pancakes, which usually I'm like a chocolate chip whore. And everything has to have chocolate in it, but we don't have any chocolate chips. And they're actually so scrumptious on their own. I'm just waiting for his call, and then he here we are. Here we fucking go. It's going to be amazing. Also, I need to plan Pretty Princess Queen Center for Wednesday. Because I want to start filming them on Mondays or on Wednesdays. Okay, girls. We just pulled up to Publix. Let me read you the grocery list. I will say, if there's one place that I'm afraid to public vlog, it's going to be Publix. Because one, I probably know half of the population in there right now. Two... It's Sunday after church gets out. So this is when everybody's there. Um, okay, chicken, frozen broccoli, carrots. Don't know if I'm gonna get frozen carrots or regular carrots. I don't think I've ever tried frozen carrots. Coffee creamer, little snacks for lunch and stuff. That's literally what I wrote. Bananas and sourdough bread. Oh fuck, I need eggs too and cheese. Thank goodness I figured that out. Eggs, cheese. I have plenty of Frank's Red Hot because it was buy one get one the other day. <laughs> my purse is open. Guys, we made it to the movies. I floored it here. Shouldn't have. You know what? Let me shut up. Anyway, we're going to see Twisters. So I've already seen it. She hasn't. That's Miss Birthday Girl. And also, um, I have candy in the purse. And I made Brooke her little flowers. <laughs> and they are in my car and hopefully won't spill or anything. They shouldn't tip over, but. Oh, I don't know. Okay, Saki Dancing Twister, a success. I need to stop eating so much popcorn. I need to stop. Anyway, these are the flowers that I made. So we have hydrangeas, we have these little ones, and then these like orange and yellow roses. And they actually, they fit in my purse. If I take this out, and this, this is what I had them last time. Let me take you guys off and try them. for you later so we're gonna go deliver these to miss brooke because she starts teaching this week ah oh, so exciting but um we just passed two jeeps and they got or one of them had a duck like you guys know like people duck jeeps and they'll put them in the little the handle so i was i was like oh my god they got ducked and then these two girls were walking and one girl was holding a big Carabas bag and Carabas is not anywhere near here. So like you probably would not have Carabas near here. Like it's like a good 20 minute drive away. 
so I'm thinking in my mind, because they were like walking around like pointing at cars, like looking for cars, and I'm like, are you guys stalking people? And they just went, like, okay, bitch, use your fucking words next time. <laughs> Maybe they thought I was like fucking, I don't know. It's Monday, it's July 29th, and I tried to start this vlog earlier today, but I just did not have a good fucking day. I don't know what happened. It just, my energy was like all off. But as you can see, I'm like wearing an outfit. I have cute little heels on. So I just got back from, what did I, what? I just got back. From, this is a cute angle. Oh my gosh. I like this. Oh, anyway, I just got back from dinner with Mr. Special Someone's family. It is, it's almost eight o'clock. It's like 7.55 right now. But we were celebrating his sister's boyfriend's new job and lots of the family was in town he wasn't there my mr special wasn't there but i love going to the family events i love that i'm at the place now with his family where it's like i can go to these little events without him there obviously i would love to have him there but his job keeps him away um it's so fun anyway yeah i don't know today was just like not the vibes i woke up late kinda i woke up when i intended on waking up which was 6 30 because last night me and his cousin we went to yoga and then we watched a movie and I didn't get home till like 10.30 so then I had to, you know, get ready for bed and everything. And usually I like to be in bed sleeping by 10 o'clock so I can wake up at 5 and then, oh, I hadn't planned my week because I was not intending to go watch a movie after yoga. I thought we were going to like get a little bit to eat before and then go to yoga and then part ways. Yoga ended at 7. So I was like expecting to be home at like 7.30, but I wasn't and that's okay. And so yes, I could have said no because I could have been like, well, I need to wake up at 10 o'clock, but then I'm missing out on opportunities that I don't normally have. I'm missing out on spending time with people that I care about, people that I love, people that I want to get closer to. And wh for what? I could literally, I could have died yesterday, you know, and what would I have done? I would have missed out on that opportunity just so I could go to bed at 10, you know, like stuff like that and don't don't get me wrong i love my routines i love discipline and sometimes when my routines are messed up i get a little bit cranky and we have we have to we have to work with the fucking ebbs and flows of life and everybody knows that but anyway so i woke up this morning at 6 30 i did my duolingo i journaled and then i went on oh i did my little ab workout and then i went on a run but the sun was in my eyeballs so i only ran two miles i guess i normally run three and don't i don't always like run all of it i like walk slash run depending on how i'm feeling but the sun was in my eyes this morning just because i got a little bit of a later start than i would normally prefer but obviously i needed to sleep a little bit later because i went to bed a little bit later so long story short my day was just kind of like weird does that lighting look better i just like we got a package and you can kind of like you never really know where it's from and I never really know which PR lists I'm on because like sometimes I'll get sent some stuff from certain brands, but not everything that they send out, you know, like some, some people get like every single PR list package that this brand will send out and some people only get a few of them, but you never really know where it's from because it doesn't say like from NARS Cosmetics to Cat, you know, it doesn't say stuff like that. It's like the shipping company or whatever, like the warehouse that it's in, it will come from there, but sometimes at the bottom... It has reference numbers, and this one says Charlotte Tilbury PR, Fragments Mailing, Wave 2. So I'm thinking it has the potential of being Charlotte Tilbury Fragrance. I don't want to get my hopes up too much, though, because I don't know what it actually is. But, you know, using logic and inferring, re reading between the lines, I'm going to go ahead and assume. Dude, are you fucking me? Okay, hello fucking spell book. I feel like I'm in Harry Potter. How do you want this? Ah! How do you want to feel today since I make you feel more sex, more frequency, joy for you, magic energy, calm, bliss, cosmic power? Oh my gosh. Ah. I feel like a wizard. Look at this bottle. Okay. Let me use my little card. Oh, perfect. It's right on top. Oh. Oh, that's nice. That's very... Oh, that smells exactly like something I've smelled before. It's kind of masculine. It's like very... It's like more... I think this would be a very good, like, unisex. Um... It... 
Okay, imagine if, if you've ever smelled Mademoiselle from Chanel. Imagine if that had a baby with, I think it's the green Ralph Lauren cologne. Okay, it's not my favorite thing I've ever smelled. I will be so honest. So I'll probably try to gift this to somebody that likes it. But it's really nice. Honestly, Brooke might like it. It. At first, it was a very like Mademoiselle. I love Mademoiselle. And then it got a little funky. Ooh, okay. That was really nice. I can't tell if the card... Okay, let me spray it on this side. Because there's something in it that gives like a little bit of spray paint. Interesting. No, it's this scent. I really like it, but there's something in it that has a little like spray paint vibe. Also, I need you guys to look at these because I was fully expecting those not to be like tester size i thought these were gonna be like that big but they pull out like this like they're like little books which is really cute okay i feel like i like this one i've been like really liking rose scented perfumes like i have the monet mcmichael's uh the sniff her rose arrow one and it's really nice it's a lot more powdery and grown than i was expecting i was kind of expecting it to be a lot sweeter but oh this one yeah it's very rosy you know what i don't I'm not going to recommend anybody go buy these because <laughs> I just, I mean, unless these aren't supposed to be like perfumes in, like, you know how Bella Hadid's or Bella perfumes, like they're not really perfumes. They're like body oils with perfume and fragrance in them. This one's really nice, but again, it's, I don't know. But yeah, like I was saying, like, I feel like a lot of like, like Chanel, they made purses they made clothes they made fragrance and then they were like yeah i guess we could give you a foundation here and there whereas like charlotte tilbury is like we make makeup and now they're making perfume but at the same time like hey let's stick to what we're good at why don't we okay that's there's something bitter in there jesus christ This one smells like, it does not even spray paint, it's paint pens. You know those pens you have to like shake, push down really hard and they kind of like leak out and then you can... Well, that was super exciting and super disappointing all at the same exact time. Anyway, something I've been heavily considering recently is getting back into doing like the little DIY lash extensions. I don't know why I've been considering it so heavily lately and it's really not that deep like it is not that big of a commitment it's not like getting them done out of place and like having to go get refills it's literally so easy I don't know why I'm just having so many issues with committing to it like it's not that serious but over the weekend I think I put them on probably like two or three times to see how I was feeling about them but then I just took them right off because I didn't I don't know I don't know how I feel about them it's it's so hit or miss with me we have the PJs we did the skincare we have the jazz playlist going and right now I'm just really quickly trying to plan out some videos that I want to film tomorrow because I think realistically planning my whole entire week right now just isn't gonna happen so I'd rather plan all my little short form videos that I want to get filmed tomorrow so that way when I'm planning my day for tomorrow, I can put in an admin block where I'm planning which Pretty Princess Command Center video I want to film. Because I will have to film that tomorrow. It should probably be tomorrow night. So, anyway, I'm going to go finish this. And I will see you bitches in the morning. Bright and early. 5 o'clock wake up time, girls. We did it. We finally, we woke up at five. We went to the gym. It was a good fucking morning so far. I just got out of the shower. Probably can't tell because I probably look the exact same. But I did. I did just get out of the shower. Um, what time is it? It's 8.52 right now. According to my Google calendar, what should we be doing? I think I make my morning routine end at 8.30, but then I don't start my first work block until like, 
yeah, my first work block is supposed to start at 9, but we're going to push it to 9.30 because I really want to laminate my brows right now. I won't have a full 24 hours of them being, you know, like, uh, what is it? Oh, dry. Only because, only because I know I'm going to run tomorrow morning. Look how crazy. I just glued them up. Oh my goodness. I like to just glue them all the way up. Like I don't try to shape them or anything when I'm just doing this part. But part of me knows that I fucking used to do my eyebrows like this. Look at that. They are gorgeous. They are perfect. I don't have to touch them. I don't have to fill them in. I don't. Well, I never really fill them in. I don't have to use brow gel. Oh my gosh. Having your brows freshly done. I don't know. Something about it. Something about it. It is something that I neglect a lot. Like, it's something that I'm like, I don't really, I don't know how to explain it. Makeup is done. Makeup is done. Ooh. Um, I've been testing out new lip combos recently because I was hanging out with Mr. Special Someone's cousin and she always has the best lip combos. It's like very specific and it looks so pretty on her. And she was telling me, I guess it's literally like a lipstick that I gave her. And she was like, I, what do you mean you haven't tried it? And I was like, well, I don't know. Like, I gave them away. And I thought I had the same, like, uh, texture. But I guess I don't. Texture. Same product is what I'm trying to say. So I did this instead. And my eyes are a little bit, like, darker than they normally are just because I did. I usually don't bring the liner all the way across. But I did. And then I just did my hair like this. But the man man just came. And he dropped off a package, so let's see what it is. So there might not be for me. Oh. It's for me. It's from Pixie. I was intending on filming a video while I was doing my makeup, but then. Bigger than they normally are, so I don't know what this is. Ooh, <gasps> cleansing oil! I'm literally about to run out of cleansing oil. Do we think that it's an actual? It looks like an oil to me. Perfect timing. I was literally thinking about the next cleansing oil. A cute little bucket hat. Oh, that's adorable. I'm not really a bucket hat gal. I want to send this to my friend Danny in Boston. If you don't follow her, Green Juice Mommy. She loves green shit. So, oh, they're little sheet masks. Is it so much later in the day? It absolutely is. Is it 2.43? Absolutely. I have watched the Olympics. It was the finals for women's gymnastics. I had to watch. It was amazing. Also, I went. I saw one of SUNY. Uh, I saw one of SUNY's bar routines from the last Olympics on my For You page. And I didn't watch the Tokyo Olympics. I don't know why. I just like, I just didn't. And um, I went to like click on her profile to go stalk her because I was like, oh my god, who is this beautiful woman? And then it said follow back on TikTok and I was like, oh my fucking god. So of course I followed her back. Bitch, a fucking gold medalist follows me on TikTok. I'm feeling so um, honored. I'm feeling so privileged. Like what? Are you kidding? Anyway, um... She is like the, one of the most beautiful women I've ever seen in my whole life. They all are. They're all fucking beautiful. But like something about, I think if I had to type in women, Suni Lee. All that to say, I have not started filming yet today. Anything that I need to get done. But I have full faith in myself that I'll be able to get it done. And the first one is, I'm going to put everyone onto this pretty little thing set. Because look, you thought it was a dress. You thought it was a maxi dress. Oh, you were wrong. Boost my anglet so we can see the back. I feel like I'd be doing you all a disservice if I didn't put you on to this set and yes I said set because yes I know you think it's a beautiful maxi dress it's not it's oh my god this is a two piece set it's stunning it fits like a fucking glove it's gorgeous I literally wore this top to dinner last night not the skirt though not the skirt though oh my god I love it so much it's from Pretty Little Thing 
It's literally from Pretty Little Thing. I know, you thought it was a million fucking dollars? No, you're wrong. <sighs> oh, this set? Oh, let me try again. <laughs> oh, this? Oh, this beautiful, beautiful dress? Oh, that's actually crazy. That's actually crazy because it's actually not a dress. It's actually just a cute little two-piece maxi skirt top set. That's pretty good if I do say so myself. I don't think you guys understand how happy I am that I have the will to <coughs> film. Like, I know it seems so stupid and silly, but it's like, it's like finding the will to study or like do work, like anything. I finally have that will back and it feels so good. Okay, behind the scenes, behind the scenes. I love this little angle with the iPad. Oh, it's so cute. The first thing we're going to need to do. Mm-hmm. The first thing we're gonna need to do, the first thing we're gonna need to do is get so crystal clear on the vision of what we want our life to look like and what goals we want to achieve that by January 1st, 2025, we are literally having a day shot boo. We're literally like, oh wait, I already knew this was coming. I feel like I've been here before because that's how crystal clear the vision needs to be, okay? So how are we gonna do that? We are going to get, so how are we gonna do that? First things first, I already did that part. So now literally just think about all the things that you want to do. Literally, you could refer back to the 2024 resolutions list. So now you just need to make a list of all the goals that you really want to achieve. So now you just need to think about everything that you want to do and everything that you want your life to look like by January 1st, 2025. If you have to refer back, if you need to refer back to your 2024 New Year's, if you need to refer back to your New Year's resolutions list, do that. If you came up with new things, do that. Just list them out like bullet point by bullet point because that is how you're going to like actually see like, okay, this is actually what I want because who knows, maybe something you wrote down in 2024. Should I make this a three-part series or like what's going on? We only have 20, no, no. <sighs> We only have five months left of this year, and if you're one of those girls that made a list of your 2024 goals that you want to achieve before the end of the year, I'm going to need you to sit down and listen up, because I know we have not been taking a look at that list since February, right? Right. <clears throat> we only have five months left of the year. I don't know what to do with my hands. We only have five months left of this year, and if you're one of the girls that made a list of your 2024 goals that you wanted to achieve before the end of the year, I'm going to need you to sit down and listen up. I feel like I'm talking so fucking fast. I decided to be done for the day because I am just done for the day. I'm getting back into the swing of things. We're getting back into the groove, and you know what? Did I get absolutely every single thing done on my to-do list? No, but I got a lot done, and it feels good to be in the position where it's like, okay this is how it's supposed to feel when I'm getting things done and I know that it's not gonna like make or break if I don't get these things done right at this very moment so I'm gonna give myself grace I'm gonna allow myself to eat dinner because like I was saying earlier I'm doing intermittent fasting so I don't know what time it is right now I want to say it's probably around like 5 30 ish so I'd rather prioritize having my dinner right now and then I'm probably going to film the Pretty Princess Quan Center because that needs to be uploaded tomorrow. So I'll film it tonight, edit it tomorrow morning, get it out tomorrow. And I won't have to worry about that. So, okay. Ooh, you see that highlighter? I'm not wearing highlighter. It's just because of the day is happening. I think here's what I'm planning. So, for the Pretty Princess Quan Center, it's going to be like a girl talk episode. So I think, well, I know I'm going to get into my comfy cozy clothes. I thought my rice was done. Um, where the fuck is my, my oil? Hello, what the fuck? Oh, there it is. Um, uh, I'm gonna get into my, whoa, my comfy cozy clothes. And I know that I'm gonna wash my hair tomorrow because I'm gonna go on a run tomorrow morning and it's gonna need to be washed. So I'm gonna put my rosemary oil in it now. We cooked the chicken, we're cooking rice and we're gonna do Carrots, mm, maybe carrots. Do you think carrots and broccoli and rice and chicken would be good? You asking me? Yeah. yeah. Oh, look at her hair. This is what I did to it earlier. I did it earlier in the day, but she has really, really curly, curly hair. And I used the Revlon blowout brush, and then I did a straightener, and I like flipped the ends so it made these little curls. Isn't it so pretty? 
So pretty. But yeah, carrots, broccoli, rice. Hmm. I'm not a fan of broccoli and rice together. Oh, I am. Together? Like, to, they have to be separate. No, no, no. no same plate. I need separate. everything in one bite. Oh, no. I don't. I've got a Sheldon you on that. Yeah. Okay, what am I trying to do? I'm trying to get a reset password and it's not giving me one. Didn't receive an email. Okay. That means five more minutes. Okay. Jump. Put my hair up. And put cute PJs on so I can film my cute video. Okay. Yeah. It's almost bed. It's almost time for me to stop eating, which means it's almost bedtime. Life is just a series of eating and sleeping. Yep. And then you die. Dinner, we have chicken, carrots, broccoli, rice, and I put tzatziki for like the sauce. Tzatziki, coconut aminos, and Frank's Red Hot. Drinking a liquid IV, and I just finished, I don't know if they're done yet. But they're done. All the videos that I filmed today, I put on my laptop so I can go ahead and edit those after I eat. But I'm going to put a show on. Probably Good More Girls or if any of my favorite YouTubers have uploaded. But I don't think they have. I haven't played Mario Kart in so long. Ugh, I love Mario Kart. This is a decent... Uh... Yeah, I'm good with this. Well, we'll just stick with Gilmore Girls. That's what I've been watching recently. I cannot wait for fall. Oh, that goes up. Whoops. Okay, taste test. We'll taste it together. I don't even know if my chicken's cooked. Mmm. Oh my god. Alright, I'm gonna get some carrots and broccoli. Mmm. My chicken, I don't remember if I already said First of all, what the fuck is going on with the shoulders right now? Second of all, I was editing this. I can't stop fucking laughing. My fucking feet in the corner. I think they have a mind of their own. Like, what is going on? What is going on? This. I did garlic, lemon pepper seasoning, paprika, Red, uh, red pepper flakes, cayenne, and sesame oil, and pepper, and then just like olive oil, and then a little bit of brown sugar, a little bit of cornstarch. Oh my fucking god, that's delicious. Guess who just took their makeup off and totally forgot that she laminated her eyebrows this morning and completely just cleansing oil water face wash me <laughs> oh well it is what it is and that's the beauty of it that's the beauty of it i didn't pay fucking 80 dollars to get that done just to forget i don't know how i forgot but we'll see how they hold up i'll probably end up doing them again in like two weeks the vlog's over i didn't even know it was over either I'm just as surprised as you are. I thought I would have at least said goodnight. I thought I would have had the, the common courtesy, the respect. But I guess not. I guess I was like, fuck this vlog. It's over. So it was a little chaotic. It was a little messy. I Technically, I have another like two days before that Sunday that I almost included. But I'm not going to. So anyway, on that note, I hope you have a good fucking day.